Hi everyone, welcome back. I'm Di, and today I am sharing with you my end of month reading reflections for the month of May 2023. So May was a month that I focused on trying to read as much manga as I can. Normally I do a personal challenge during the month of May, which is to read as much manga as I can. And so I tried to read a volume of manga a day, but that didn't work out. I still got through quite a lot so there's going to be quite a lot of things to get through today. Um, if you haven't seen one of these videos from me before, my end of month reading reflections videos are basically end of month like wrap ups, but I don't give you reviews on everything that I've read. If you're interested in my thoughts on any of the things that I'm going to show you in just a little bit, you can check out the Deces 19 Diaries videos, which I've linked down in the description box below. In those videos, at the very beginning of the video is when I talk about what I've read for the week. Um, but if you're interested in only a particular title, open up the description box of each of the videos and you will see a list of what I am wrapping up in that video. So that will help you in case you're just looking for one or two of um, my thoughts on any of these things that I've read. So we'll start off with letting you know <laughs> all of the titles that I read during the month. So I'm just going to tell you what the titles are. And then we'll go into a little bit of soft stats. And then I will let you know what my highest and lowest rated reads of the month were. And then share a little bit of my thoughts with you there. So very, very summarized thoughts. They're not going to be the same as what I give you in my Deces 19 Diaries. So without further ado, let's get into it. I have read through quite a few things um, and in no particular order we're just going to pull from the top so right off the top here i have kr alexander's vacancy i have can't stop cursing you volume two this is by not um, kensuke koba art by natsuko uruma this is published by yen press rated older teen volume one of yakuza fiance Story and art by Asuka Konishi. This was published by Seven Seas, rated older teen, 17 plus. Villains are destined to die, volume two. This is by Suo, original story by Guan Gyo Ul, uh, published by Issei Press, rated teen. Bleach, three in one edition, volume 14. This has volumes 40, 41, and 42 in it. This is by Tight Kubo, published by Viz, rated teen. Volume two of Ladies on Top. This has story and art by Niji Ganameta, published by Steamship, rated Older Teen, 17 plus. I have Demon Slayer, Kimetsu no Yaiba, volumes 21, 22, and 23 by Koyoharu Gotoge. These are published by Viz, rated Teen. And I did finish that series this month, so that is great. I have volume 4 of Erased. This is by Kei Sanbei, published by Yen Press, rated Teen. Volume 1 of World After the Fall. This is by Sing and Song, adapted by S. Sinan, illustrated by Undead Gamja. Um, this is published by Issei Press Rated Teen. And I have Volume 1 of Rainbow Days, story and art by Minami Mizuno, published by Viz Rated Older Teen. All of the manga from Demon Slayer to Rainbow Days were the Monochrome Manga Club. Um, selections for the month of May. So if you don't know, the Monochrome Manga Club is an in real life manga club that I host at a local Barnes & Noble where we read two first in a series reads. We are currently doing two series reads. Moving on, I have Reflection by Elizabeth Lim. This is one of the Disney Twisted Tales. I believe this is number four. Uh, this was a gift from my friend Amy from A Star Reads. I have volumes four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven of Living Room Matsunaga san. This is by Keiko Iwashita, published by Kodansha, rated older teen. I also finished that series this month. I finished the fifth book in the Crave series by Tracy Wolf. This is Charm. I finished Volume 1 of Meisan Ikoku by Rumiko Takahashi. This is published by Viz Rated Older Teen. I finished Dream Fever, which is the fourth book in the Fever series by Karen Marie Moaning. I am doing a read-along with my friend Jenea over at Live a Thousand Lives. And I also finished Hyde, which is the first book in the Detective Harriet Foster 
thriller series by Tracy Clark. So that is everything I read in the month, which brings my total of things read to 25. I read 25 things in the month of May. I think that is really, really good. It's definitely a lot higher than my total read count in the month of April. So let's now get into some soft stats. So of the things I read, I had four five-star reads, 16 four-star reads, one 3.5-star read, and three three-star reads. So all in all, not too bad. Like I said, I read 25 things, which is up from 11 things in April. So I think I did a pretty good job there. My total pages read it was 6,899 pages, again, up from 4,347 pages in the month of April. I read 18 volumes of manga, up from five volumes in April. So again, I didn't get to as many as I would like, but it's still a pretty good number, I think, especially with the fact that I still got some novels read. Um, also, that number is technically a little bit low because I did read some omnibus editions, which have multiple volumes in them. So I did read a few more volumes than the total, but I just used like the bind ups as a single entry as far as the total number goes. So. Yeah, I still think that's a really great job. Um, I read two volumes of Manhua, or Korean comics, which is up from zero in the month of April. I read five novels in the month of May, which is up from two novels in the month of April. I combo read two books, which means that I partially listened to them, and I partially physically read them, and then I listened to two books completely on audiobook. So of the things I read, three of the things that I consumed were borrows from the library of audiobooks. One of them was an ebook library borrow. 24 of the things that I consumed during the month I owned. And one of the things that I read was actually something that I had gotten from Kindle First Reads. So that was really good. I think I did a pretty good job in the month of May. And this brings my total of things read for the year up to 81. I do keep a soft like sub goal during the year of 52 novels read during the year because I read so much manga especially with challenge months like May and now in June I'm doing the manga pride readathon so I anticipate a lot more manga read in June as well. I like to make sure I'm still consuming the novels that I have on my to read list, on my shelves here at home and things like that. And so I do keep a soft sub goal of 52 novels during the year. I am currently four novels ahead of my pace um, for the year. I believe I'm about halfway to that 52 number goal. So that's great as well. And so yeah, I'm really feeling good about where I am with my reading at the moment. And I have enjoyed a lot of the things that I have read recently. I mean, 16 four star reads during the month that's really really good i think my like average rating so far this year is like a 3.75 which is not the greatest but it's not bad either and so yeah so far really really happy with where i'm at with my reading so let me tell you now what my highest and lowest rated reads of the month were we'll start with the lowest rated reads of the month and so we can end on a high note for the video. So I had three three-star reads during the month, the first of which was Rainbow Days Volume 1 by Minami Mizuno, published by Viz Rated Older Teen. So this was one of the Monaco Manga Club series reads for the month. I do have a dedicated video for my series first impressions on the Monaco Manga Club series reads, or at least the first in the series reads. And I've linked that down in the description box below in case you're interested in hearing more of my thoughts on this series, or at least this volume. Uh, but this is a series about a group of guys who are in high school and their romantic escapades. This, unfortunately, was not as good as I was hoping it was going to be. So I was a little bit disappointed because this was a series that I had high anticipation for. 
it has been a series that I had high interest in for a while and just never thought that it would get translated. I did almost purchase the series raw because I thought I would enjoy it. Uh, but yeah, this first volume wasn't the best for me. Uh, but I do see potential in the last few pages of this volume. So I'm hoping that in the next volume, things will be more successful <laughs> for me as far as enjoyment. And so, yeah, it was good. It just wasn't as good as I thought it was going to be. I also had Meisani Koku Volume 1 as a three-star read by Rumiko Takahashi, published by Viz Rated Older Teen. So this is a boarding house story. It follows... Um, basically, our main character is a man who failed his entrance exams to college. And so he is staying at this boarding house, trying to study so that he can retake his college entrance exams. And while he is there, the caretaker of the boarding house changes to this woman here on the cover and he instantaneously falls head over heels for her and so the story is more like a slice of life-ish type of story with an underlying like romance subplot this has been another series that i had high hopes for it's been one that i've been anticipating for a while i do own the entire series um but I wasn't in the mood to read this when I read it. So I ended up having to read this f to complete a prompt for the Aurelia Magical Readathon. And this just suffered the obligation read like syndrome for me. So a lot of times if I'm forced to read something, <laughs> and I say forced softly, um, but if I'm forced to read something, I'm just not in the mood for it, the rating will suffer. And at the time that I had to pick this up because I picked it up like at the last second, obviously this is a May read and the Real and Magical Readathon ended in April. So I did have to take a little bit of an extension there. Uh, but because I was down to the wire and the prompt was to like blindly pick something basically, and I had chosen this out of my Grell Cup, and so, yeah, it was kind of a forced read, and that's kind of why strict TBRs don't work for me. This suffered. So, yeah, I still enjoyed it. There was a lot of hijinks in here and comedy things that I wasn't expecting and really wasn't in the mood for at the time. Um, so, yeah, if I were to pick a Rumiko Takahashi series, to have read at the time that I was going to pick this up, I would have picked Mermaid Saga because that has been one that I've been wanting to get to for a bit. Um, this, yeah, just wasn't the right read at the right time. So unfortunately, it suffered as far as the rating goes. But I do intend on rereading this when I am more in the mood for it and then continuing and finishing the series at that time. My last three-star read of the month was Dream Fever by Karen Marie Moning. Like I said, this is the fourth book in the Fever series. I am doing a read-along with my friend Jenea over at Live a Thousand Lives, and I am a bit behind on this. <laughs> so I should have read this in April, uh, but I didn't finish it until May. I'm not even sure at this point if I picked it up in April. I don't think so. If I did, it was very, very late in the month. Um, but I don't think I did. <laughs> in any case, this is a series that starts with our main character, Mac, who ends up finding out early in the first book that her sister was murdered while she was doing a study abroad program in Ireland. And with the cops not having any leads to go on, the case quickly goes cold, and this doesn't sit well with Mac. And so Mac packs up her life and heads to Ireland to find out who killed her sister or try to find any leads or anything like that. And ends up finding out things about herself and her sister that she, she just had no idea about. And also finds out that there are things that exist in the world that she didn't know existed either. So by this point, we are close to the end of like the first arc of this series, I believe. I believe Jenea told me that 
we follow these characters for the first five books and then it kind of changes but we stay in the same world in the later six books i believe so we're heading towards the end of this like first arc and i really enjoyed the first two books i would say the third book i didn't enjoy so much and this one i didn't enjoy so much either for me this book has mac very very angry for a good majority of it and it's hard to read a character that's angry like i understand why she's angry because of the things that had happened to her but it's still very hard to read someone who's angry at everything at the world at the people that she trusted the most who just weren't there for her at her time of greatest need and it, it's understandable but hard to read so i'm hoping that with the last book we get more back on track with finding the book that she has been trying to find since book one um and so yeah i'm still interested in continuing the series it's just the circumstances in this book though understandable like i said was hard to read because she was very very angry so that's kind of why my rating is where it's at so those were my three three star reads of the month and then i had four five star reads so let's finish this on a high note shall we five star read all three volumes of demon slayer kimetsu no yaiba volumes 21 22 and 23 this series was such a surprise for me i avoided it like the plague because i don't like to jump on hype trains and my manga club ended up wanting to read this and so i agreed to let them read it and i'm so glad that i did this was such an enjoyable ride i have just really enjoyed watching our characters there are some really heart-wrenching moments in this series especially as we lead up towards the end and i just really enjoyed this so i highly recommend this series i'm really enjoying watching everything come to life on screen as well with the anime and so yes highly recommend this series could not say more glowing things about it it definitely got me in the feels which is something that's very hard to do for me and even though i didn't actually shed tears it did hurt my heart so really really enjoyed this and i'm glad to finish this series i do have a little bit more outside of the series like light novels and there was a one shot of manga volume that was published that i really wanted to get to as well just to stay with these characters and in this world a bit more but highly recommend demon slayer kimetsu no yaiba and then my other five star read was my 14th volume of bleach um, then the three in one edition. I've just been really enjoying my read and watch along of this series with my daughter. We have already watched the entirety of the anime, but we are currently reading through the manga for the first time. And since it's been a while since we've watched the anime, we are watching after we read. And so I've been really, really enjoying this, re experiencing these scenes with these characters and yes so i'm looking forward to continuing this i'm hopefully going to finish this this year i really really want to um so yes highly recommend bleach as well um bleach is more of a supernatural like battle type manga and demon slayer is more of a historical battle type manga <laughs> i feel like demon slayer is definitely more historically set and bleach is more set in the modern world but they both have like supernatural elements they deal with demons and and um bleach more deals with like spirits also and so yes i really really enjoy both of those series and that is pretty much all i have for you for this video so i'm very happy with the amount that i got accomplished this month I'm very happy with the amount of things I finished reading this month. I finished two series, which is also great. It's something that I really want to try to put more effort in, I would say, for the remainder of the year, trying to get a few more series done. Um, there are definitely some series that I have 
in my mind that I'd like to finish, like Bleach, I said before. I'll, I'll definitely be finishing other series with my manga club. Um, and so that's great too. But yeah, all in all, a really, really great reading month. I have high hopes that my next month of reading in June is going to be about the same, considering I am participating in the Manga Pride Readathon. If you're interested in participating in the Manga Pride Readathon, I will link a video from my friend Bizarre Individual, who's one of the hosts, down in the description box below, so you can check that out. And basically, it's just to read your LGBTQIA plus manga during the month. There is a bingo board if you'd like to uh, participate in that, but it's not necessary. Just read LGBTQIA plus manga. It's always a great time. This is the third year, I think. And so, yeah. Expect to see more manga in my end of month reading reflections video for June. But that's everything I have for you today. So let me know down in the comments below what you read during the month. Um, if you could share with me your highest and lowest rated reads of the month. That would always be appreciated and very interesting for me. And if nothing else, and you'd just like to let me know that you are here. If you could leave me... A uh, Sakura emoji for the back cover of Demon Slayer Kimetsu no Yaiba. That would be greatly appreciated and would really help me out. And that will do it for me today. So I hope you're all doing great. I hope you're all safe and healthy. And until next time, take care and smiley always. Bye.